I don't know about you, but our family is an Amazon family. Seeing the Amazon delivery guy is like a multi-daily occurrence, especially in our circle. He's always coming back and forth. Honestly, I think that Amazon has changed the way that people shop. And over the years, we just buy more and more stuff from Amazon, which is good and bad, but it's just kind of the way that we live now. So today I'm sharing with you 26 things in my kitchen from Amazon. Oh my gosh, I have this one hair right here. And yes, I did chop my hair. When women go through something traumatic, we cut our hair. And not to be vague, but we went through something really traumatic earlier this year and last year, and it had to do with an adoption situation. We're healing, we're moving on, and that's really all I'm gonna say about it. The first product is this Full Star 13-in-1 Master Chopper Pro. Wow, that's a lot. I remember having one of these when I was little, but for some reason, it's making a comeback. Yes, it comes with 13 attachments and different things, but the main one that I use is this mini dicer. So this is a blade and this is the little pusher part. You can swap these out for different blades, lock it in, and then you put something in there and chop it. I use this for so many things, especially in the summer when I'm making salsa a lot or I'm making something that I want everything to be the same size. The other cool thing is that it comes with a bigger dice. I feel like one of those makeup influencers. <laughs> There's a bigger dice and a smaller one. But the other day I made french fries with these and they were amazing and they cooked super evenly because they're all the same size. Another one of my favorite attachments is the mandolin part. I use these for sweet potatoes when I'm making tempura or when I need potatoes for like scalloped potatoes, carrots. This thing is awesome. The next one is actually part of the first one. It's this egg slicer. You can buy these separately on Amazon. I love making hard boiled eggs in my Instant Pot for the kids. It is so satisfying and it makes perfectly sliced eggs for salads, sandwiches, snacks, anything. While I have you, here's a question. Does the egg go in this way? Or does it go in this way? Two years ago when I was working on my cookbook, it was insane. I had to do 175 recipes in 14 weeks and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. One thing that I got to help me stay organized was mega calendar. <laughs> This calendar is probably about four or five feet across and about four feet down. I don't know, I'm terrible at measurements. I searched high and low for this calendar. I honestly researched for like three hours trying to find the perfect one, but it's awesome because there's four quadrants and they're not dated. But we like how there's no dates on here so then we can customize it for every single month. I'm not zooming in super close because all of our family names and our schedules on here, it feels a little invasive. But I wanted to share about it because it is on honestly a lifesaver. It's right here in our kitchen where everyone can see it and we can all stay on the same page. We also have these little stickers that you can put on important dates. They look really good right now. My brother-in-law when he was over for Christmas made fun of me because he said you can paint this wall by hand but you can't hang your calendar straight on the wall. It really bothered him. <laughs> the next product is this awesome oil sprayer. These come in a two pack and I like this little carrying thing so then I can just put it on the table if I need it. They're really nice quality. They're glass and you can fill them with whatever oil that you want so then you can spray it for spraying your pans on top of salads. It's awesome. I got these because I wanted to have a little bit more control of what was going in my food. I wanted something that was a little bit eco-friendly, especially for my air fryer. This one, I just have olive oil and this one I'm going to fill with a new oil, completely unsponsored. This is Baker and Olive. My friend told me about them when we were at a park date the other day. I went, ordered three things immediately and I am obsessed. It comes with this little funnel, so then you can just put that in there. Okay, the funnel was kind of slow, so I'm just going to go straight in like that. You can use this oil to roast veggies with, you can use it in your air fryer, you can do it on top of your salad. Perfect. 
Now I've got these two oils. My friend Kristen from Six Sister Stuff is the ultimate freezer meal queen and she loves to use these bag holders. So of course I had to buy the bag holders. But really, I don't make a lot of freezer meals but these are super useful anyway. You can use these to fill up leftovers, to fill up bags, anything. This one does not have a suction on the bottom but it has a kind of a little grippy texture so you can put it right here. They're adjustable so you can use it on a gallon size bag. I mostly just use it on the bottom like this and then you just take your sandwich bag and put it in like that and then you can fit stuff in there like this raw egg. <laughs> just kidding. So if you have a bag like this and you have some cereal, leftovers, whatever, so nice to just be able to pour it in super easily. Then when you're done, you just And there you have it. This stuff is plastic sheeting. If you ever buy plastic tablecloths for events, you need to get this stuff. And it's basically just a roll of plastic tablecloths and I use it all the time. So the cool thing is it's just this giant roll of plastic sheeting like this and I use it for craft projects for my kids. Whenever I host an event, if I'm doing a charcuterie board all over the counter, I'll just use this to cover up the whole thing. And you just roll out how much you need and you cut it off and that's it. My kids now take lunches to school and these are the best. I guess this one still had stuff in it. Okay, let's see together. Hopefully nothing is molding because I do not remember. Oh, <laughs> it's filled with Halloween candy. Actually, this is Valentine's Day candy. So I guess my kids found it. They love using these to make little snack boxes for themselves. I bought these on Amazon last year for Christmas presents and they have tons of really cute designs as well. Besides the name, which is so cute because these are just little American bento boxes. I love these because they have these two little snaps here. Each slot has this really nice sealing stuff on it. So then everything stays contained in the box. This part also comes out just like that. And this is dishwasher safe. This part they recommend not dishwashing so then the seals stay nice and firm. But this part actually never gets really dirty anyway so it's not too big of a deal. These compartments are perfectly sized to encourage good portion control. To put them in, you just snap it in like that. And that's it, happy lunch. Speaking of cute containers, check out these. This is a company called Gobi, if that's how you pronounce it. And they market themselves as a kids spill proof snack container. What's cool about this is it has this little door right here that opens only one compartment at a time. So then you don't have this giant snack tray with everything falling all over. This solves that problem. Each one of these compartments is good for one quarter cup and you just push this little button in the middle and you can get one snack at a time. My kids like making their own little snack boxes. This one is completely candy. If you're trying to practice portion control, I think these are also good for adults. But I think that they're really good for like a toddler age. My kids are kind of aging out of them, but they still are really great for road trips and for taking on the go. One thing I really like about these is that you just take them apart like this and they come apart super easy like this. And this is dishwasher safe. I really don't buy a lot of things I can't put in the dishwasher because I'm super lazy. I need a snack break. Totally random, but the other day I read this article that said that dentists absolutely hate goldfish crackers. And the article said it's because it gets like mashed in their teeth, which I actually believe. Swedish fish also get mashed in your teeth, but they're delicious. Lucky you, you get to see my kind of messy kitchen here. But in here I have, this is like my pots and pans cupboard and it's completely not very functional, but I bought this shelf on Amazon when we moved in. And it just keeps my pots and pans on two levels here. And it's actually really good. I'm trying to figure out a different solution, but for now, I really like this. If anyone has any ideas, please let me know. All right, another one of my favorite Amazon products is this. Just getting a second, third, or fourth, or fifth, 
Ugh. Getting another liner for your Instant Pot is awesome. Then you can cook multiple things in the same Instant Pot without having to buy two or three. Something I picked up over the pandemic was sourdough bread. There's literally nothing better in this world than just a beautiful hot loaf of homemade bread using only three ingredients and sourdough is just my love. You can totally make sourdough bread without any of the special equipment, but as soon as I got into it, into it, now it's been about two years, I decided to get these Banneton baskets. These were a two pack on Amazon. There's one that's bigger and one that's smaller. And I use these to proof my sourdough loaves. This set also came with a lame, or is it lom? And it also comes with these like fabric shower cap things, but they're actually washing right now, so I don't have them with me. And I really love these baskets because they make the bread look that much more perfect professional and it's gorgeous. Ask anyone who knows me and they'll tell you that food and cooking is my love language. So speaking of bread, I love these bread bags. I buy these on Amazon and they're perfect for giving away loaves of bread. They're like specially made for bread. So after bread cools, I'll put them in these bread bags tied up with a little ribbon. It comes with twist ties. And then I love putting a custom Erin Condren sticker on there. And I love giving that away as a gift. These are also excellent for leftover rolls, cookies, baked goods. They're really good around the kitchen. But if you bake like me, you definitely need these because bakers love giving away our creations. Speaking of baking, these are macaron mats. And these mats from Amazon Basics are really nice to get perfectly shaped macarons. They're also really good for making cookie dough balls or to put eclairs or cream puffs on. These are just like basic cooking mats. And so you can use these without using the guides. They just have the little guide things on them to make it easy. So they're multi-useful, which you know we love. Speaking of macarons, I love making and giving away macarons to my friends and neighbors or as gifts for my kids' teachers. And these cake boxes are awesome. They come in a pack and they're just flat little boxes like this. And if you know anything about packaging, you know it's like really expensive. I thought they were a good deal, a good value for what you get, and they're really good size to put any type of baked good or gifts. And I also like sometimes putting a little custom sticker right here or tying it with ribbon, and they're really cute gift boxes to give things away. And I thought that they were a good deal. They're sturdy, 10 out of 10. Last summer, we had a little bit of an ant infestation. Oh, gross! So I bought these ant vape stations on Amazon and they are awesome. What happens is they like crawl into the little ant trap and then they take it back to where they came from and then it wipes them out. And I'm stocking up on them for the summer because I do not want them coming back. I think they came in like a six pack, so they look like this. Kind of a random one, but very practical. The other day I bought oh, oh, this oh, giant bucket of oatmeal at Costco. It was super cheap and we eat a lot of oatmeal here. So I thought it was a good deal to get it. Plus the bucket is like way nice quality and I knew I could use it after. Little did I know that you actually need to get a special tool to open this thing. Of course, I went to Amazon. Bong. So this is what you need to open a bucket. Anyone who is good with like emergency preparedness and food storage is probably rolling their eyes, but I don't know. I looked it up on other websites and other like emergency preparedness stores and they were like up to 15 bucks for this. So I went to Amazon and got it for three. This next Amazon find is one of my favorites because I always get compliments on it. I bought these poles on Amazon and they were a fraction of the price as other poles. They're really nice quality, they're square, they feel really good. We bought the ones that were six and a quarter inch holes like this, and then you just screw them into the cabinet on this side here. It was really simple, but they look really modern, sleek. We really like them. Cabinet poles can be like up to five or six dollars each. So these ones were a really good Amazon deal. This Kasori kettle is a Christmas gift I got from my mother-in-law and it is one of my new favorite things ever. Fill it up with water and you can do it up to the max line. You press this little button and this will boil so fast.
when it's done, this pops back up and you've got boiling hot water. All right, this is a little bit of a confession because I did not buy these on Amazon, but I know they are available there. Two years ago when I was working on my cookbook, I was in the kitchen for like 12 hours a day. So I bought these kitchen mats and I have another one right here. Yeah, they don't look super cute, but they are super practical. They take the fatigue off of your feet and I really like them. So this one is way better than these ones. You can even see these ones, they lift up on the bottom. And so I trip on these a lot, but these were the only ones that they had at the time. If you're gonna get some kitchen mats, I highly recommend you get some that you know, read the reviews, but they stay flat on the edges. It's like way more flexible. This one is a lot more rigid. And so I can't really do a whole lot with this. My next Amazon kitchen find that I'm going to share with you is here in the pantry. Well, hmm. I guess the light went out in my pantry. So I'll just show you as best I can here. These can organizers honestly have been awesome. You can see these in my pantry video that I did. I need to do an update on this though, but these are excellent. You can see I have two different kinds because that's all they had in stock at the time. I definitely like this white one better than this silver one. Here they have these little nubs, but these ones are a lot softer than these ones. These ones are like really sharp. And so if you have like a can, if you're gonna do soda in there and they will pop and spray soda or water or whatever everywhere. The next Amazon find is this can opener. This can opener is different because it doesn't cut inside of the can like this. It cuts on the outside of the can right here. So it takes the entire top off. And yes, I know this can has a pull top, but I'm gonna show you. When you put it on like this, you go right here under the edge of the can and then you kind of lock it into place like this. And did you hear that? It broke the seal and now it's gonna just cut all along the edge of the can. Oh, there's no really rough edges. It's a lot safer and comes right off. This next product has a cult following. Enter. Don Power Wash. I don't know what it is about this stuff, but I love it and so does everyone else. Dawn Power Wash, as it says, you use it in place of your normal dish soap. I don't use this on heavily soiled stuff. I use this for when I just use something really quickly and I just wanna give it a quick sanitize. I also use it when I'm cleaning out my reusable straws. I'll just throw some of this stuff in there and then use my straw brush to clean out the straws. But for example, if I have this cutting board that I really didn't use for really a whole lot other than making sandwiches, I'll just rinse it with water, spray some of this on, and then let it sit for a second and then I'll rinse it off and then it's clean. This is a Dutch oven that I keep on my stove for decorative purposes and for just using. It gets kind of covered in grease and stuff from everything else that I cook. So I also really like to use this on top of this and then it just gets all the grease off and then I wipe it off with a paper towel. My brother is a master smoker, barbecue griller, and he recommended this next one to me. This is called wing dust. This stuff so good on wings. So it's wing seasoning and a little goes a long way with this stuff. It's Cosmos brand and this is what it looks like inside. This one's the hot buffalo one, so it's pretty spicy. We really like this honey barbecue one. It's not usually a flavor I would pick, but I wanted something kind of mild for my kids and this stuff is delicious. It's almost like barbecue chip seasoning. This next one you have seen if you watched my cowboy caviar video. This is a corn husker. You put a cob of corn into this. So you put it in this way into the hole and then, or you put it in this way because this is the side with the blades right here. So you put it in there and then you just turn this like a pepper grinder and it cuts the kernels off the cob. This is really good if you have braces or you don't like eating corn on the cob or for making salad, salsa. This is kind of a fun tool. The only bad thing is that it's just like single use, but my kids love when I get to use this and it's really fun. 
This last one is something I love to give as a gift because it's really inexpensive and such a good product. This is the Mercer, I think this 16 inch bread knife. This is like one of the best bread knives I've ever used. Okay, it is the best bread knife I've ever used. It's incredibly sharp. The handle is really sturdy and I like that it's not wood because then it doesn't get all cookie, you know what I mean? It's dishwasher safe and it cuts through everything like butter. Not only do I use this for bread because I love baking bread as you learned, I also use it to cut pretty much anything else. Like I found this apple, my kid put it in the fridge. He ate like five bites of it and then put it in the fridge. At least I put it in the fridge. It's just incredibly sharp. If you don't have the budget to buy like a really nice knife set, something like this is excellent because you can use it for bread plus just about anything else. This is my go-to for like cutting watermelon, pineapple. It is seriously the best. I hope you enjoyed these Amazon favorites. If you like this video, I know you're going to like this video right here, which is my top Instant Pot accessories to buy and avoid video. Most of those items are from Amazon and make sure you hit the subscribe right here. Thanks for watching, bye.